What is up guys, Waggy2709 here and today I am back with a different type of video. Today we're meeting our new pet, we got him only a couple days ago and we got him for free which was great, the place he was at, they didn't want him anymore. Um, but now we've got hold of him, he's the first one that we've ever had. It is a two year old corn snake called Luther. So guys, he's inside this little cage here. Um, just give you a quick run of the cage. That is a little plant, a little log that you can go in that is currently inside. That is just a little bowl with some water, as he likes a little bit of water. And that's a little cave that he can slide himself under. If we open it up. As, a, as you can see, he's not under, so it's fine. You can lift it up, he can just kill himself up in that little hole there. He is, at the minute, not being held by us, as he is our first snake that we've had. And lately he's been a bit moody, we've only had him for like, about five days. Um, we've fed him in that time, fed him a mouse, and he has shed his skin in that time. Which was very, very strange to see. I will try and get a good look at him, if I just lift up this log. Obviously move these leaves out of the way. Obviously this is a fake plant, it's just a resemble. You can see him a bit of him just underneath there. And if I just lift up this just a little bit, he's there. He's holding on for dear life. As you can see he's got himself properly wrapped underneath here. I don't want to just disturb him too much. You can see his head's just there, literally in the centre, wondering who the chuff has just woke him up. Um, he was, he has been very grumpy. Lower that down very slowly. Because obviously he's a bit of a big snake. He has been very grumpy, as I was saying, sorry, I was concentrating quite, about, <laughs> quite hard there. We've been trying to touch him just every now and again, just a little stroke, just so he gets used to us. But, he has been very wary, very defensive, he curls up quite a lot. Um, I've stroked him a little bit in the old house, he was at Chloe's dad's, which is my girlfriend's dad's, but her dad's other half didn't want him. Um, he got it off his friend for free, who he didn't want anymore. <laughs> but he loves snakes, but he didn't tell his other half before he got him. So he got him, and then his other half, like, freaked out as she was scared of snakes, which I suppose is understandable, you know, he should have really told him, told her beforehand, but he didn't. So now we're stuck with him, and I don't know, I'm trying to get the best view for you guys. But I think I'm struggling. But anyway, yeah, we did we were stroking him the other day. As I said, he's getting a bit defensive. And if I just touch him, just here, he instantly moves, creeps in, and then eventually, if you keep touching him, he'll poke his head out and be like, Oh, the chuff is touching me with your ugly human hands. It was over here at one point. I'm just going to close that so he doesn't sneak up on me. And he was just, just stood here, just in not necessarily underneath there, but he was just like along the top of the rock. And stuff, and he was just like watching us, and I was, his body was here. I've been stroking his body, and he's moved around, so I'm like, oh, fair enough. Close this, and as I've gone and closed this, obviously, you can't see the glass, so there's another glass is necessarily there. But you see my fingers, you can see the heat from them, and he's gone far my fingers. Oh, I've just seen a bit of his skin, actually, I think. That's still in there. He's gone for my fingers and absolutely just twatted himself on the side of the cage. That is actually a bit of his skin that he shed. He only shed it last night, which is why we haven't managed to get it all in yet. But yeah, that's what he's managed so far. And that's simply why we haven't been able to like, really get a hold of him much. Like I said, only had him for a few days. He's sticking his head out just a little bit, just, just there, that's his little face. 
and is uh, very, very wary still of us. We'll slowly get used to him, and we'll slowly get him used to us. But at this moment in time, he is not happy. Not necessarily that happy. Um, I'll just stand you guys here. And this is actually the skin that he did shed. Um, it's quite a long piece of skin. It's like half his body length. I managed to get it off in one go. Which is very hard for me to get in this one shot, but as you can tell, it's a very long piece of skin. He only just got it off last night. Literally, he was rubbing his head against that wood. Lifted just a little peely bit off the top of his skin, like as if when we get split dry skin, you can just peel a bit of your skin off. He had that just on top of his head. Didn't think much of it. I thought, oh yeah, he's shedding. Fair enough. Literally, it went to the bathroom. Two minutes, came back down. My girlfriend went, oh my god, you just missed it. And literally, that entire bit of skin had come off, and the rest of it had come off, and it was all along the side of here. And all along the back of there, which is this one tube of that white skin that he's managed to get off. So I have no idea how he managed to get it off in such a quick time. But he did, he's got it off, and ooh, he's smelling. Yeah, he's there. Uh, I thought it'd be, he was very active last night after he'd been. After he had done his uh, shedding, he was very active, but now he's gone back to hiding in there. Like I said, we're kind of leaving him to it, just while he settles. So obviously it's a very anxious time for him. But, just thought I'd do a quick introduction to him, just while we're getting used to him. Obviously we hope to get him out more. Um, Probably need to get me a bit of log, a bigger log. <laughs> Obviously, I know snakes like to be um, contained at either side because they feel more safe if the body touches the entire way around. Um, but I think it looks a bit ridiculous if he's sticking out just there. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed meeting our new pet. I will bring him out more as we get more used to him, and he gets, m and more importantly, he gets more used to us. Um, but yeah. Apart from that, I will introduce you more when we get used to him, and that's that for this episode. That's that for this uh, video. So I hope you've enjoyed our video, just meeting our brand new pet. Um, I will show him more to you guys when I'm more used to him, and more importantly, when he's more used to us. But until then, I'm just going to leave him to it. Try and just touch him a little bit every now and again, just so he gets used to being touched by a human. Obviously, he's already two years old. Um, we don't know how often, if at all, his previous owners did hold him. So, for all we know, he might not be used to getting touched by a human at all. So, it might be quite a big job for us. If anyone's got any tips, please let me know. Either comment below or tweet me um, at waggy2709 and let me know. And thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, drop me a like, drop me a comment, please, on how to what's the best way of getting him used to us. And I will see you again next time. And it's bye from me and Luther. Adios.